Shopping for a new TV on Cyber Monday? It can be overwhelming these days, especially with all the models and designations available. With alphabetic features like HDR, 120Hz, and HDMI 2.1, it can be hard to keep up with what's new, important, or better than what you already have. TVs often include all of those features and more, making it tough to tell the difference. Unlike the rest of those TV tech terms, QLED and OLED are fundamentally different even though they're only one letter apart. And in our side-by-side -side comparison reviews, one is better than the other. For the last few years, Samsung has been branding its TVs QLED. Its 2024 QLED lineup includes Neo QLED models in 4K and 8K resolution, the Frame Arc TV, the Serif, and the Serif Rotating TV. But Samsung isn't the only one. TCL also makes great QLED TVs, including the excellent QM8, and Amazon has a Fire TV Omni QLED television of its own. On the other side of the fence are OLED TVs. In the last few years, LG has dominated the OLED market, and its 2024 OLED TV lineup is more extensive than ever. Sony and Sharp also sell OLED TVs in the US. Adding to the confusion, Samsung has an OLED TV of its own, meaning it sells both OLED and QLED TVs. So what's the difference between OLED and QLED? We'll start with picture quality. In our side-by-side -side comparison reviews, OLED beats QLED every time. None of the QLED TVs we've tested, including the Samsung QN90B, the TCL QM8, or the Amazon Fire TV Omni QLED look as good as any of the OLED TVs we've tested, such as the LG C3, G3, or Samsung S95C. In every comparison we've done, the OLED TV won. Here's a quick summary of the TV technologies. First off, OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. QLED stands for Quantum Dot LED TV. OLED is a fundamentally different technology from LCD, the major type of TV, whereas QLED is a variation of LED LCD, adding a quantum dot film to the LCD sandwich. OLED is emissive, meaning the pixels emit their own light, whereas QLED, just like LCD, is transmissive in its current form and relies on an LED backlight. The main takeaway is that QLED is closer to regular old LCD than it is to OLED, which we consider a distinctly different class of television, much like plasmas before it. Quantum dots are microscopic molecules that when hit by the light emit their own differently colored light. In QLED TVs, the dots are contained in a film and the light that hits them is provided by an LED backlight. The light then travels through a few other layers inside the TV, including a liquid crystal or LCD layer to create a picture. The light from the LED source is transmitted through the layers to the screen surface, which is why we say it's transmissive. Samsung has been using quantum dots to augment its LCD TVs since 2015 and debuted the QLED TV branding in 2017. Samsung says over time that color and light output have improved, for example. However, improvements caused by better quantum dots are much less evident than those caused by other image quality factors. Other TV makers also use quantum dots and LCD TVs, including Vizio and Hisense, but don't call those sets QLED TVs. LCD is the dominant technology in flat panel TVs and has been for a long time. It's cheaper than OLED, especially in larger sizes, and numerous panel makers can manufacture it.